I never use tees out of my pocket, full tees out of my pocket when I'm teeing up an iron. I always have to find pieces of tees. It's just a superstition of mine. In this video, I will be reviewing Golf Sidekick. Now, you can go to www.golfsidekick.com and check out his webpage. He's got tons of written information on there, strategies, a shop. Uh, he's got gear reviews, things like that. Uh, but you can also go to his YouTube channel. He's got tons of content on there, tons of videos. Uh, not a lot of it is going to be swing mechanics. Uh, some of it deals with techniques he uses for, say, chipping and the short game and things like that. And then he may reference his own personal mechanics, but he doesn't give swing mechanic tips. He doesn't do that. He's not an instructor uh, in that sense. What he can give you, however, is a ton of strategy and mental edge. He, he can show you how to control your emotions on the course. He can help you with your technique as far as how to work from green backwards to the tee and, uh, and really help you plan and, and save a lot of strokes. So today is all about being stress free. This is a 415 yard par four. It goes uphill and slopes severely right to left. Now normally I've been struggling with my driver, but after my session at the range the other day, I feel a lot better about it. Now, if you go extreme left on this hole, you get behind some trees. That could be trouble. So this is really a stress-free shot. I'm going to give it a shot and uh, take a shot, and then we'll see the shot. Okay. So I'm inside of 100 yards from the tee box that was telling me that I've hit this over 300 yards. I did hit it well, but I think that yardage is probably a little off. I think maybe I'm more like 280, not 310 or 320. <laughs> uh, I've got some branches above me here. Uh, this is about 95 yards. Normally I would be playing, I don't know, like a, a 54. But I'm going to try and just knock down and make a, uh, a two-third swing with a 50 degree. See if I can keep it under these branches and fly it. Pushed it and left it short. A little chunky. Okay, now this one is kind of a stressful shot. Normally, since the pin is cut back behind these trees about right here, and I've got to play out this way and fade it back and my normal shot is a draw, this is a tough shot for me to pull off. Um, it's 222 yards and I've got a hybrid in my hand. Now I know I can fade it, but it's not gonna be something that I can fade on command seven out of ten times. But I know I can hit one fairly straight. Um, so if I hit it and it goes a little bit left, I'm kind of caught behind these trees over here. But honestly, 
coming into the green from that side, it's pretty wide open and you've got a lot of green to work with. So I'm just going to try and hit it to the right side of these tall pines off in the distance, right about in this area. And if it cuts, great. If it stays straight, no problem. If it draws a little bit, I might be in a bit of trouble. Stayed fairly straight. That's fine. That's fine. Leaves me below the hole. A little short. Let's see if I can make this one for par. Okay, guys. Here's one that is a prime example of a key decision being made in the round that is either going to be stressful or it's going to be stress-free. It's either gonna be a high tax shot or a low tax shot. This is a par five. It goes down the chute a little bit and then has a bear off to the left. Now it's pretty wide open once you get down, but you can see I've got these trees and those trees. And it may look like it's fairly wide open here, but believe me, it's, it's kind of tight. It's almost like a chute when you get down there. So the most reliable or I should say, not the most reliable, but the most stress-free shot is a four iron. If I hit a four iron, I can reach those trees, but the likelihood of me blocking it that far right and hitting it well enough to get into those trees is unlikely. Most likely scenario is I end up right down the middle. Let's Got about 210 left. I've got my hybrid out, which normally goes about 225, but I've got a really tight lie here. This is like hard pan. This is what Lee Trevino always said he grew up playing on. I've got a wide open area down there. I don't know if you can tell, but if I go way left, I'm fine. If I go way right, I'm fine. If I end up a little short, there's a false front. And if I end up a little deep, that's okay. So I'm just gonna make a smooth, nice swing with this hybrid and see where I end up. Stress free. going that way hard. <laughs> this started out middle. It bounced up onto the green and the green slopes a little left so it carried around to the left side of the green. I don't know if it stayed on but it's going to be really close and that will be left for eagle. Again, keeping with the stress-free theme, I'm about one pace off, which is about three, four feet off of the edge of this green. It is a little uphill, which means I'm gonna have to give this ball a pop with a putter. I could chip it, but to me, putting off of the collar is a lot, a lot less stressful. And I've got probably, I'm gonna guess somewhere about 30 to 35 feet. It's a long eagle putt. Plus, I just wanted to be able to say I had an eagle putt instead of an eagle chip. Here's a tricky one. This is a 280 yard par four. Everybody watching this video is licking their chops. Oh my God. Bunkers all in the front, left, right. Severe slope down to the right, that's jail. Trees all down the right hand side that if you get behind, you're having a blind shot. If you get over to the left, it's not awful. right but struck very well okay I ended up coming 
just kind of kicking off the right side of this last tree. I'm a little bit past the flag, but I'm pretty much dead high with the uh, middle of the green. I don't have much green to work with here. I've got a wind coming this way that's fairly strong. I've got a pitch going uphill. This is not my strong suit. From uh, a guy you've seen in the first video that I, I told you about his technique. Uh, his name is Stan Utley. And what Stan Utley says is basically when you take it back, you know, you just expose the bottom of the sole, the sole of the club to the ground, and introduce the bounce, kind of finish low, and it pitches the ball up. That's not bad. I'll take that all day. All day. I decided to stop filming because I've come into a group of golfers. They're having a tournament out here today. I started off on the back nine, um, and it was pretty clear. I mean, there was nobody back there, so filming was really easy. But now I'm going to be in groups, and uh, I'm probably going to end up playing through. And that being the case, I just want to say that on that back nine, par 36, I've played here a bunch of times. This is where I started playing. Uh, I shot 37. Uh, made a bogey on that final par five just because of uh, a bad second shot that put me in a bad spot. But the whole nine was totally stress-free. I enjoyed every second of it, and uh, I think I played a lot better as a result. Wow, the wind really picked up at the end of that round. So I ended up shooting 78, which if you take that out of context, that's not a bad score for me. Uh, that's actually pretty decent. Uh, but let's put it in some context. First of all, uh, I shot 37 on the back side, which is the side that I started on, and I shot 41 on the front side, which is, of course, the back nine that I played. I've played this course a lot of times. I know this course well. So 78, if you think about that, I would tell myself, well, I probably should have had a couple of strokes better score than that. But then when you factor in that it's chilly outside, and the wind really started blowing. And these greens have been aerated and sanded, top dressed and all that. Uh, that takes you back the other way and you say, okay, well, you know, a couple of strokes the other way. So 78, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that score. Uh, overall, I had a pretty good ball striking day, but I would say what stood out to me is my short game was pretty good. Chipping, pitching, wedge control, like partial wedges, things like that. Uh, and my putting was actually pretty decent, despite the, uh, the bad greens. Um, I had 29 putts. I'll tell you a couple of things that stood out to me. Uh, I only hit 5 out of 13 fairways, um, which some of the fairways out here are really sharp dog legs, and they get pretty wonky. So 5 out of 13 is not that good, but it's not bad either. The average for most people is like 50% of your fairways. Uh, so I'll take that. Uh, Again, the wind was blowing pretty hard. Greens and regulation, 6 out of 18. Man, I really need to get that number up because I found myself scrambling most of the day, and whereas my short game was pretty decent today, uh, if my short game hadn't been with me, then 6 out of 18 greens really would have cost me some extra strokes. But all in all, I'll say this. Here's my review of Matt's channel, Golf Sidekick. I've been watching this channel now for probably a year or more and it is by far my favorite YouTube channel anytime Matt puts out something new I go watch it right away it's entertaining it's informative and it's not talking about swing mechanics so many channels now are trying to teach you swing mechanics with no idea of what your swing is like they're just taking guesses or uh, they're just giving out generic mechanic swing advice and most of that is going to be biomechanics and not club position and again like if you watch my first video I think those two have to marry together but Matt's channel focuses on golf course strategy mental strategies emotional control it's more about managing yourself and managing the golf course and managing what tools you happen to have in the bag if you don't hit 300 yard bombs then don't set yourself up for playing the hole as if you do. If you don't feel comfortable hitting uh, a driver off the tee because you feel like you're going to lose it out left or right, out of bounds, in the woods, put yourself in a bad position or whatever, 
then put the driver away. Just don't hit it. Uh, I did that a lot today, especially on the back nine, which again was my front nine. Um, I was hitting a lot of four irons off of tees just to keep myself in play. I even did it on par fives. And it's kind of, your, your impression is, oh, I'm playing super conservative golf. I'm playing really safe. And a lot of people equate that with bad. Um, but I tell you, conservative golf does not mean that you are not going to score well. It doesn't mean that you can't go low. You can very well put up lower numbers with conservative golf. As a matter of fact, what Matt is saying in his videos is conservative golf will help you lower your scores because you're lowering the stress. And that's uh, the main thing he's been talking about on his channel this year is stress-free golf. And I didn't feel an instant of stress today playing the way that, um, that he preaches and um, tries to get his viewers and subscribers uh, to do that, that type of technique. Uh, it really it really was stress-free and regardless of how my score had come out today I had fun on the course it was a relaxing day I didn't feel pressured if I didn't feel like I could pull off a shot I didn't try to pull off a shot so again go check out Matt's channel Golf Sidekick he's from South Africa he's really funny he's very smart listen to what he's trying to tell you and it will definitely help and improve your game thanks for watching and subscribing don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below click the bell notifications so you get all my videos as soon as I upload new content and we'll see you next time